Hey everybody, how are we doing today? Today we have a uh, we have a steel MS four hundred C. What we're gonna do with this saw is uh, turn it around here, trying to move stuff around, and we're gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all the details. We're gonna take the bar off. We're gonna pull the uh, sprocket cover off. We're gonna go in there. We'll take the clutch off the drum. We'll pull the oil pump out. Once we get the oil pump out, I'll throw it on the bench. I'll show you some things there and uh, how, to, how to take the oil pump apart. If you can't get to your oil pump, this is probably a little beyond um, what you should be doing. If you know how to get to the oil pump and take it off, by all means, let's have fun and uh, let's get this thing done. But uh, when we're all done, we're gonna see how this thing oils and uh, we'll go from there. The 400s are notorious for, uh, these MS-400s, they're notorious for having weak oilers. Um, we're going to make this one strong. So, I got faith in her. We're going to get her. Alright, so here we go. Here's the pump, washer, spring, washer, and that's going to get stuck. Um, washer, then the spring, then the other washer on here. That last washer right there typically is going to get stuck right inside here, right right there uh, because of the oil in there, it'll just stay stuck. But I always pull it out for accountability. That way I know where all my parts are. I put them right in the, uh, put them right in my little tray here. There's your roll pin. Uh, the roll pin goes in from the backside. And then when you drive it out, make sure you drive it from the front side to the backside. The, the hole in the front side is a little bit smaller um, and it, it's made to design, to drive out the backside. So, and then you have your brass bushing, you have your shaft here, brass bushing rides right on the end of the shaft that goes in there, sorry, right there, and you have your, um, you have your adjustment screw here, the flats on the adjustment screw go to the flats right like that, so you have quarter turn you have quarter turn adjustment with it, sorry. Just like that, there's your flat there. So that's how that goes back together. And um, basically what we're gonna do is, if you look at this, you see the taper, okay? You're gonna go to the low side of the taper, find the lowest point and mark it, which is probably right about there where my finger's hitting. And what you'll do is you'll come up about three quarters of the way up each side and with it, uh, with a Dremel or some form of a, of a grinding tool, rotary tool, and you all you're going to do is you're going to you're going to take the lowest point of this taper and you're going to take it down about an additional fifteen thousandths. That's really all you need to do. You don't have to go too much lower with it. About fifteen thousandths is is all you need. Twenty thousandths max. You go over twenty thousand. I've never taken one over twenty thousandths, so I'm not sure. But I've heard if you go over twenty thousandths. Uh, lower it, it the pump's not going to work at all so I always try to go about 15 just for safety and you should be good um let me hit that with the uh with I gotta get my rotary tool set up uh, I have it all put away right now but let me go get that set up and um I'll show you what I do uh if you rotate this you'll see there's your low point we're going to take that we're going to take my tool and uh basically I'll just start right here twist it right around and just polish just I'll work that down but I'll also blend it in you don't want any nothing no, no major rigid jumps or anything you want it all smooth so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so stand by okay this is gonna be extremely difficult to see I'll try to show you um, but you can see you, you definitely see you want to keep the you want to keep the edge in the center I forgot to show you that beforehand, but there's an edge, there's a lip up in this, a shoulder in the center, and you want to keep that because that's what your, uh, that's what your metering, or that, uh, that's what your meter is going to run on. That, it's going to push this in and up and down, or in and out actually. Um, but you don't want to touch that, that center piece there. See how I still have maintained the edge there, right there. Hopefully you can see it. Um, but if you look at it from this angle, you can see. It's, it's down significantly, um, at least 15, maybe more thousands. So um, we'll get it cleaned up and put it back together. All 
All right, as you can see, here we are. We're all back together now. But uh, let's give this thing a test and uh, see what we got. What do you say? All right, as you can see, she oiled real, real well, uh, especially, like I said, considering these things, these 400s have a reputation for not oiling so good on the 20 and 25 inch bars, especially. This one here is a 28. Uh, I like this bar so far. Um, it's held up pretty good. So, uh, but yeah, no, it's oiling very, very well, and uh, I've got no complaints with it. So, um, hope everybody liked this video. I hope it was helpful and uh, hit that like and subscribe button and um, share this to anybody you know that uh, might have a have an oiler they want to mod and um, i'll be sure to keep the content coming thanks a lot